what's up everyone welcome to question 3 november 2021 maths paper 1 grade 11 it was a sequence and series or number pattern question which was consist of 3.1 and 3.2 now let's have a look at 3.1 uh, it says here that uh, the table below indicates the minimum number of matches required to construct a triangle all right we've got one two three four and then uh, which is the, the number of triangle and then we also got number of uh, matches is going to be three five seven and then a and b now the first question it says 3.1.1 it says fine write down the numerical value of a and b now let's have a look at this one it is says it says here three then from three to here if you have a look at here the difference between five five is just two so it means two was added therefore seven and five it means two was added and then therefore four seven on seven when you add two what do you get here seven add two is going to be eight nine okay it means a is equal to nine therefore you add two then four on the nine you add two therefore that will give us 11 rather okay so therefore it means a is equals to 9 and therefore uh, b is equals to 11 great stuff so now moving right along 3.1.2 it says uh, determine the formula to represent the general term which is tn of this pattern so we know that this is m um, if I were to illustrate this nicely here, we know that this is the second difference. So therefore, this is this is what this is an arithmetic. This is an arithmetic pattern or sequence. So therefore, we know with an arithmetic function, which formula do we use? If we check on our formula sheet, this is what we use to find the nth term. N minus one d. Okay. Therefore, we already know what is D. D is equal to 2. And then A. A refers to the first term. Or A is equal to how much? In this case, A is going to be equal to 3. Okay. Therefore, we can substitute that into our equation. is going to be 3 in bracket 1 min n minus 1. 2. Now, we need to remove the bracket by multiplying 2 throughout there. 3 is equal. It's plus. 2n minus 2 therefore this leaves us with a value of tn which is equals to 2 uh, 2n 3 minus 2 is going to give us plus 1 okay and that's our formula for this a uh, number pattern of an arithmetic pattern let's move on to question 3.1.3 .3. question 3.1.3 said how many matches are you required to create hundred triangles okay okay three point one point three okay so it means that our n is going to be hundred okay so how many what is our formula formula is given by tn is equals to 2n plus one so how many are required it means our n is going to be 100 is going to be equals to 2 uh, 100 uh, plus 1 which is going to give us 200 plus 1 which is going to give us 201 okay and it means now 201 matches will be required okay so you can just put in brackets here so that they know that you have read the question and you know exactly what you're talking about if you are new to this channel and you are seeing this video for the first time please make sure that you subscribe and then you go and view other videos that are on this channel where we are doing past papers on grade 11 we also have got past papers for grade 10 um, 11 that was what we are busy now and also grade 12 as well so please make sure that you watch uh, those videos as well so that you can continuously learn when it comes to mathematics all right and share this video with many of your friends as possible all right we also gonna do paper two we also going to have other questions as well and also examples as well all right so moving right along 3.1.4 how many triangles can be made with 
305 messages. So 305 message is referring to TN. So they want us to find the value of N in this case, right? So great stuff. So let's come here and say, okay, if TN is 305, and then we know that is 2N plus 1, we just need to take one that side so because we are looking for n minus one is equals to two n therefore it's going to be three zero four two n you must divide by two both sides n is equal to one five two okay and that's the value of n in this case so it means uh, if you've got 300 305 matches you can make 152 triangles you can make 152 triangles so let's move right along to 3.2 if you've got any questions guys please make sure that you leave them on the comment section below i will try my best to get to those questions as soon as i can and we will continuously work together to make sure that we fully understand what we are doing so given right here you have given three terms you are given t1 this is t2 here and this is t number three and then they said that the first three terms of a linear number pattern r is given but that is if was determine the possible value of x all right so we know very well that if we're given a linear pattern in order for you to find a common difference you need to come here and say t2 minus t1 should therefore be equal to 2 3 minus t2 okay so let's substitute this into our equation t2 is going to be 2 x squared plus 5x plus 2 minus into t1 which is 2 x squared plus 5 x plus 5 is equal to 3 x squared minus plus okay plus 4 minus 3 into minus 2 x squared plus 5 x plus 2 okay so we are gonna substitute throughout here and remove the bracket here where there's a negative all right just gonna copy this down as it is so we're gonna have minus 2 x squared minus 5 x minus 5 is equals to 3 x squared plus 4 x minus 3 all right minus 2 x squared okay and then uh, minus is there for minus 2 all right, great stuff. Now let's simplify. I see positive 2x squared will cancel with this one. Positive 5x, negative 5x. Therefore, we've got 2 there, uh, minus 5. 2 minus 5 is going to give us minus 3. Is equal to what you have there is got a 3x squared minus 2x squared. You're going to be left with 1x squared. Therefore, 4x minus uh, minus 5x is going to be minus x negative 3 negative 2 is going to be negative 5 okay so therefore we need to take this 3 to this side is going to be x squared minus x minus 5 plus 3 is equal to 0 okay what is happening here minus five we need to simplify this further minus x minus minus two is equal to zero okay now we need to factorize this is equal to zero you are gonna have x we are gonna have what are the two numbers when you multiply them together they give you two is two and one therefore two will take the sign of the middle term plus that therefore x is either equal to minus one or x is equal to two great stuff guys and that's how you would deal with this one you are going to substitute the either of these values and that's how you would deal with the november 2023 no november 2021 grade 11 mass paper one i am gaston mapala make sure that i see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question three november 2020